Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. You're all the happy and way here. I've got a replay for you. This is uh, from a Hector versus Mycenae battle from my stream just this past weekend. Let's go into the units and talk about why I decided to show you this one. Um, a lot of the content on my channel last week has been about Hector of Troy and a lot of the Hector's shortcomings. The biggest shortcoming is just how expensive their decent troops are and just how steep the performance drop-off is for their more affordable units like... Oh, I don't know, spear fighters. Um, this right here is the main line for this army that I've brought today. Trojan Defenders. I brought four of them and using the 4400 rule set at 12,400 funds. Um, these four units cost me a grand total of 4,000. This is pretty much the cheapest um, decent unit in the roster. Uh, I put on the flanks of either side of my Trojan Defenders two Hector's Chosen. That's another 15,500. So I've spent 7,000 plus funds on six units of infantry and this has to do all of my mainline work um when you're playing against anybody else they could bring much more than just six units of mainline infantry and that means your main line is about to get blanked um the rest of my army uh using this rule set and on this map i only brought one heavy chariot because there's so much tree uh you know tree and foliage to have to deal with i brought two spear fighters to round out the rest of my medium in, uh medium infantry I brought a Fighter Vanquisher hero, um, just in case I had the opportunity to grab the enemy hero in a duel. And my opponent brought a... I'm sorry, not my opponent, this is me. I brought a Minotaur with two XP chevrons. This is like a very expensive insurance policy. Because I knew I wasn't bringing two chariots, I was only bringing one. A Minotaur can do really, really well against chariots. The other thing we can do really, really well against is enemy heroes. So, just in case... My fighter vanquisher needed some help fighting the hero just in case my chariots need help fighting chariots i brought a minotaur like i said very expensive insurance policy and i might have been able to afford some more infantry for the cost of that minotaur my opponent is mycenae mycenae has a mainline force here of six infantry um two armored spearmen four shielded clubmen supporting supported by a minotaur with four xp chevrons the fact that there's six main infantry here is pretty significant. He did bring more infantry, obviously. He brought three club warriors, but he has some kind of ambush positions already in an outflanking spot, and I like this call. This is actually a really, really wise play for him, but it's going to require that I do something about them because I need to try and keep my six units safe. There's the two reinforced chariots here, escorting an archer skirmisher hero on chariot. So let's go into the fight. This was this was a, a, a long one at 12 minutes. And um, the grand total numbers, as you can see, as Hector, you are often going to find this the case. I was outnumbered by 101 men. So I see the chariots out here. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm trying to put my hero, my uh, minotaur, and my spears and my chariots in the same theater to protect the flank of my infantry because that is the most important thing right now. Is that these, this infantry is going to have a lot of work ahead of them. The shielded clubmen are are. A, this is a budget unit. And it is good for its cost. 65 armor, decent missile block chance, 110 damage. And that's a 650 fund unit for having all of those stats. Don't be don't be fooled by the fact that it's just a medium infantry club. So here comes the chariots and the archer hero. They're coming down the, the main alleyway here. I've got my forces um, over here getting ready to ambush them. He's pulling up uh, his club warriors because he wants to try and ambush me. I do see this club warrior out here. I don't see these two already the archer skirmisher hero is targeting my hector's chosen he's already gotten four kills on him bad news for me but as he moves up i'm gonna charge in and prevent him from taking too many shots at my chosen that one i got really lucky it hit one of the trees that hector's chosen living in the trees is going to be the most important thing so i'm charging heavy chariots with my spears and that that was enough that was enough to surprise him and have him pull, pull back, but he also, he's now getting his club warriors into the show. These guys are coming downhill too. Um, I activate the uh, Vanquish, so everybody now has more speed and charge speed. My chariots are pulling in here. Um, these uh, spear fighters are doing what they can to just continue chasing this. And now I'm taking um, archer fire from the skirmisher. My hero tries to support these spear fighters against this club warrior, but that club warrior is going to do really well against those spear fighters. And as you can see, I'm just relentlessly pursuing these chariots because they're running away from me. That's great. Just keeping them away from my forces. I'm getting value here. Um, my spear fighters are doomed. Maybe I could pull them into the trees and get some damage, but Your not before my units break. Um, these club warriors over here, they they pop out just far enough for me to get a good charge on them. And look at the damage they take, but I now have to get my chariots out of here because they have seven melee defense when they're this deep into the, into the scrub line. 
the Archer Skirmisher is shooting the back of my um, spears here, and we're about ready to start this showdown. Um, both of our flanks are relatively secure. He does have a club warrior out here. He's going to charge downhill, and I'm going to I'm going to meet him. Uh, having armored spearman versus Hector's chosen is okay by me. Having Trojan defenders against shielded clubman is okay by me. But this armored spearman has an opportunity to slip through a gap here. I try to engage both the armored spearman and this clubman. I want I want to try and spread my line here so that my Hector's chosen could have an opportunity against these club warriors. Meanwhile, in Chariot Land. As you can see, I've defeated this Club Warrior. My Minotaur is getting a ton of damage done against Chariots, but there's now two Chariots out here. They've already pretty much dealt with this Spear Fighter. They're trying to come back. This one's almost gone. Club Warrior is taking care of it. The Archer Skirmisher Hero has every opportunity to get behind my main line, and his Minotaur is now engaged in that battle as well. Um, the, the, my Spears are basically just fodder. For these, um, for these chariots, but every point of damage I cause is a good one. My my heavy treasure chariots are going to run away, and worse still, they're going to run away into the trees where these club warriors can go ahead and just take care of them. I have used the savage roar, and that finally, um, the effect on that finally disappeared. Look at this. They run away into the trees, into the javelins, and into the club warriors. Club warriors will kill off this entire unit. My minotaur is going to come out here and try and chase off these, these gentlemen, and then my hero is out here by himself chasing this club warrior, which is trying to flank my forces. Let's take a look. Let's take inventory here. Just see what's happened. I've already broken one of the shielded clubmen. So I'm going to get this church defender around behind and charge this shielded clubmen. And every every engagement I win is another opportunity to flank my enemy. I'm winning against the armored spearmen here with Hector's Chosen. So I'm not worried about flanking this. Out here, though, this Hector's Chosen is taking a ton of damage from uh, club warriors. And th there's this threat of armored spearmen out here. This club warrior comes in here. He recognizes this is my weakest position on my line. I charge in with my fighter vanquisher to try and support my tr my uh, Trojan defenders against these club warriors. This really, really healthy armored spearman and the shielded clubman. I've routed another shielded clubman here. So I'm going to get my Trojan defenders behind and attack this shielded clubman. And I'm going to get my other Trojan Defender free to rear attack this Armored Spearman. Just wrapping up all these battles. This Minotaur is a little bit out of position here. He's not sure what fight to take. As you can see, I've actually I've routed two of the Club Warriors. This one is is uh, coming back to join the fight. This is freed, freed up my Hector's Chosen. He's going to engage the Armored Spearman. The, my opponent's Archer Skirmisher Hero is wasting a lot of his arrows into Tree Trunks. And I couldn't be happier about that. Here comes a Chariot Charge. His guys have finally turned my corner. Their chariots have arrived, but you know what? I was chasing a routed unit, so my Trojan Defenders turn around, and they're going to deal a ton of damage to the reinforced chariots. I'm going to take a Trojan Defender and a Hector's Chosen against this Minotaur here, and really try and remove him from the fight. Just dealing as much damage as I can. The Minotaur is actually getting the poor end of a lot of this engagement, and I am still chasing these um, reinforced chariots and dealing plenty of damage. Reinforced chariots both now down to about a third of their health, 40 kills, 31 kills, and the Archer Skirmisher Hero is up to 31. I've got my Minotaur out here. He activates Aristea so he can use um, some of his abilities a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. My uh, Hector's Chosen has engaged another um, Club Warrior, has routed it. Here comes yet another Club Warrior for it to fight, and it's being pursued by yet another Club Warrior. All three Club Warriors are here for my um, Hector's Chosen, which has racked up 130 kills. My uh, Fighter Vanquisher was chasing um, some broken units, so I'm going to have him activate Vanquish, and I'm going to pull him back into this fight. I've got, I luckily grabbed a hold of the Archer Skirmisher here with Trojan Defenders, and now we've got a Minotaur face-off. I'm going to go ahead and pull mine out of here. Um, my guy has a little bit less health, and look at that. I activate the, um, the Savage Roar so I can affect as many units as I possibly could. So I pulled him out a little bit, activated the Roar, attacked this Chariot. He's going to pull his Chariot away from this. I broke and shattered the shielded club and with the shatter with the with the roar combo with the damage. I activate my Aristea so I can heal some of this damage. I have to do something about this uh, Minotaur. I I bring my Minotaur down here to support my Trojan defenders. And look at the damage this reinforced chariot takes. I'm taking plenty of damage on my uh, Trojan defenders against that hero, but I'm okay for now. I'm trying really hard here. Look at the morale on the Minotaur. Every little bit counts. Every little point of morale damage. The shielded clubmen are now trying to, to grab my hero, but his Aristea is going to make him nigh undefeatable. And look at this. I've shattered all three club warriors now with Hector's Chosen. Yeah, they were already a little haggard, but man, did that matter. That counted. 180 kills and counting for Hector's Chosen, and we're close to that second XP Chevron. Um, 
Minotaur is out here still holding on. My Hector's Chosen is really starting to lose its morale. I've broken this Reinforced Chariot. This one's coming back into the fight, but I've got more Trojan Defenders. And my Minotaur on scene. That Reinforced Chariot is not going to get out of here. That one is out, down, and out. And this one is coming in, trying to cause a little bit more damage. He activates Savage Roar. And things are looking... That was really, really well timed at the Chariot Charge. But I kill one of the Chariots. And this one just doesn't have the hit points nor the morale to hold out. I am taking plenty of damage, though, from that Archer Skirmisher hero. Eat my axe, I declare. I go ahead and I'm going to charge out with my Minotaur to intercept the uh, Armored Spearman. And I'm going to use these two Trojan Defenders now to chase off the, uh, the Archer Skirmisher hero. But that's going to play into his hand and he's going to get plenty of kills. But what he won't be doing is he won't be putting that ammo into my Hector's Chosen. Not that he needs to. They're running away anyway. So I've got my Trojan Defenders routing here. His Minotaur is routing. I have, uh, he actually just regrouped right at that moment. And I'm trying to pull my Hector's Chosen back into this fight. Trojan Defenders are still moving downfield, trying to catch up to this Archer Skirmisher hero. I sh my um, Hector's Chosen here have shattered. All I have in play right now is my Minotaur and my Fighter Vanquisher. The uh, Minotaur is going to engage my broken um, uh, Trojan Defenders. And this is a critical moment of the battle. You have to see this. My Hector's Chosen have arrived. I'm, and he activates Bull Rush. Worst possible timing for that. Yes, it gives him Trample. But now, he can't attack. That's the downside to the Bull Rush ability. He can't attack. And now my Hector's Chosen are free to just slaughter this Minotaur. They pick up their second XP Chevron. He finally is free up to attack now. But that was it. He drops his axe in defeat. That one Chosen throws up his arms. He gets the final blow on the Minotaur. You are a hero, my friend. You're an absolute hero. It was just really, really unfortunate timing. I think he probably meant to try and activate the, um, the uh, Savage Roar. But it just, unfortunately, it was the bull rush. And, oh, man, my uh, my Minotaur is riding over here. He just now regroups. Hector's chosen with another job now. They have to fight these shielded clubmen. I'm still chasing down um, the hero out here. I've got my hero chasing the armored spearmen, trying to remove them from the fight. The Hector's chosen pulling in overtime now with 199 kills. Shattering the Shielded Club and 202 kills now. My Minotaur, I activate Bull Rush because I need to get him over here as soon as possible. So that Bull Rush is activated. I'm charging him over. My hero is uh, in, in a little bit of a dire situation here if the uh, Archer Skirmisher decides he wants to start shooting at him. These um, these Spearmen can cause plenty of damage to him, but he's going to start shooting my... He's going to keep shooting my Trojan Defenders instead. It's down to his last six arrows now. I've got to get my Hector's Chosen downfield with the Minotaur. Everything else is shattered. This is all that's left on the battlefield. For a little while there, before that Minotaur um, activated his Bull Rush and before, um, before I routed his Chariots, I was about ready to call this a GG for my opponent. So you can see I've spread out my infantry here so that he can't just keep killing killing them like, you know, two, three, four ranks deep. And I'm continuing to chase, continuing to chase. As you see, I had like enclosement maneuvers planned, but he has his chariot. He's free to do anything he wants with his three arrows that are left. I get my Chosen and my Minotaur out here just in time to shatter that armored spearman. The fear effect of that Minotaur is, is really, really paying me dividends now. And now, all I have to deal with is one hero. And look what that hero is doing for the balance of power. He has one man left. And and with uh, two arrows, how many kills? How many kills can he make? The answer there is one more. One more arrow. One more kill. Can he kill the... How many men do I have left? Can he kill the 86 troops I have left with one arrow and his chariot and sword? That's the thing. He can't. There's no way. We're going to put this a little bit faster. As you can see, I'm trying to give, you know, enclosement orders. I'm chasing. I have some people with um, standard attack orders. He spends his last arrow on Chosen. And it's just, he's trying to decide now at this point, who is he going to charge since he doesn't have any more ammo. He goes for Hector's Chosen. I think that's the right call. He pulls through. He's going to turn around. He's going to try and charge him again. Maybe he could kill him off. I see what he's, I see what he's doing. So I'm going to retreat my Hector's Chosen towards the rest of my troops. That gets my uh, Minotaur behind. I activate the Savage Roar, dropping his morale. He's also a fear-causing unit. He's now surrounded, and that is going to break his morale just as he comes through the other side of my Trojan Defenders. And that was a fight. That was a really, really good fight. I think that was probably the best battle of the night for me. 
Um, just, just really, really, really valuable to have. Um, hats off to my opponent, D's Nuts Singh, who was um, a, a lot of fun. Um, 82 kills on his chariot. He managed more than 70 kills with his, I'm sorry, 82 on his Minotaur. He managed more than 70 kills on his chariots. Almost 100 kills between his two spearmen. His um, shielded clubman. Only so-so performance. This one managed 45 kills against Trojan defenders. It was supported by one of these armored spearmen. And his club warriors, 82 kills on this one against um, against my spear fighters, which... <laughs> spear fighters. Like I said, there's a real performance drop-off the second you go below the Trojan defender. The second you go below the 1,000-point mark for um, Hector Infantry, your performance drops it drops drastically for compared to value so as you can see i picked up xp across my trojan defenders hector's chosen 218 kills mostly against club warriors and you love to see that that was so good for me really really valuable performance my heavy trojan chariots doing the early work against the reinforced chariots the minotaur doing the early work against the reinforced chariots and being influential for me at the end in continuing the fight against the chariots and against the hero 122 kills for the archer skirmisher hero and i pretty much spent the entire battle chasing him and his ammo and let me tell you the archer skirmisher hero might be the best pick against hector because of how expensive his troops are because of how easy it is to outflank them because of how easy it is to dispend your ammo without fear of repercussion so i want to know your thoughts about hector I want to know, how do you go wide with Hector? How do you find ways to prevent getting outflanked? What units have you been forced to rely on that you might not have otherwise used? Like the Renowned Swordsman, for instance. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that, is, that is Hector of Troy's big problem. People like playing him in multiplayer, but the problem is you buy too much heavy, expensive infantry, you're not going to be able to protect your flanks. So how do you balance that act? Anyway, that's it for today. Ta-ta. I love you all. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.